What's your name? Fabien Brawl. <laughs> Pretty easy, that one. <laughs> My name is Alex Cure. I'm racing Enduro World Series for, yeah, since 2013, so for almost 10 years. And like the last two years, I was doing both. both. And uh, this year is my first like complete uh, just e-bike season. Well, we are here in Finale Ligure, first round of the EEDR uh, World Cup and uh, very first time for Canyon to actually uh, introduce the Strive On and a proper race bike in Enduro. The goal is to raise the uh, the e-bike uh, racing with the, the new Strive On, as I mentioned, uh, because we want to see what we've done in terms of R&D and how far we can push the product. So I always like when I develop a bike to push the boundary when it's time to go against the clock. So it's quite the same course than the normal race, except that we are a bit more stages and uh, some uphill stages as well. We have probably another 20% or 30% more than the EDR will have, uh, but we have also more technical liaison going up. So it, it definitely changes the format. The gap of time between the, the, the stages is going to be a challenge one as well. So I would say between the power stage, the amount of the stages, the technicity of the liaison, we're bringing a format that is quite different than the EDR and we'll bring racing, I would say, a complete different aspect also in terms of physical prep and also bike management. We generally have two batteries, two batteries for 80 kilo like me, you need 7, 750 watts battery to be able to reach, especially on first lap here. So this year we are running with um, Strive On. It's a 160 millimeter of, tra of travel. I'm actually running the 184 on the front, but with, with uh, like a low pressure. So I have a big negative chamber. So it's, it's a bit hard to pull, but we have a very good contact with the terrain. We're actually riding a big disc, 220, and uh, the engine is a Bosch CX race with uh, 625 batteries or 750, depending the tracks and depending the elevation of, of the loops. The ambition for the Performance Line CX race is to make the races as fast as possible, to have a dedicated product for EMTB racing, and to develop especially for that purpose. It is really lightweight, it's only 2.7 kilograms. We have a special race mode, which gives you instant um, support, which is super sensitive and has a really long extended boost to, to push you over roots and rocks. We always think from race to race. Uh, we collect the feedback of the riders uh, after each event and also during the events and then developing the products uh, race by race and year by year. There is an extra little bit of race DNA inside the Performance Line CX race motor that gives you the ability to be really fast if you can handle the bike on the highest level. We are right now at the middle of the power stage. It's pretty short, like maybe 40, maybe 30 seconds. So not a big gap to do, but a lot of time to lose, so you have to be careful. Definitely some new skills requires you. <laughs> you used to go downhill and now take the uphill. I mean, it's, uh, it's super interesting. There is a lot of uh, precision that needs to be done in the line, timing with the pedals, trying to understand how you keep the traction, the motricity without losing too much time, because you want to get excited and try to make a good time. But there is plenty of room for mistakes. So yeah, definitely part of e-biking and super interesting and I think really challenging for everyone. Hopefully it's going to be faster uh, Saturday. <laughs>
for sure it is a challenge, but it's also the, the global challenge of enduro. We know we have flat, we have steep, we have uphill, so you need to have a bike that actually works all around, and it's the same for E. You need to find the right combo in terms of uh, crank lengths and BB height and also head angle and be able to have enough front load versus enough uh, stability. So I would say it's, it's a compromise to find and also understand where you're gonna actually make time and which one are the important stages to really make the difference on the others. And I would say kind of do the best on the, on, on the rest of the race. So the compromise is to be found and the choice of mine here was definitely to optimize front load because we have very narrow stages where you don't have have much room to go to go wide um, on the exit or either even on the entrance so it's very important to be very precise looking forward to race day every time i'm born ready for that and i love it <laughs>